Now, while millions of Brits headed to the coast to lap up all that gorgeous sunshine over the weekend, the Fitzhenry family from Devon headed to Dover to swim the channel. Mad, brave and outright foolish are all words that have been used to describe the Fitzhenrys from beer in Devon. This all-boy team from the same family decided to swim the English Channel in a relay for charity. I'm Paul. I'm Paul's son, Dan. I'm Daniel's uncle, David. I'm David's brother, Neil. I'm Craig, Neil's nephew, youngest of the Fitzhenry clan. The idea was initially uh, thought up by my dad, um, I think when we were sitting around a table in Austria, uh, nice and drunk after a day snowboarding. Dad came up with this crazy idea of some sort of family bonding session, swimming the channel. At the time we think he's not really that serious, so we'll, yeah, we'll go along with that. I'm realistic enough to know that I'm never going to be able to do it myself. Um, so I thought, well, you know, my brother, my son, must be a way of getting a bit of a team together. A couple of months later we realise he is serious and it's time to get training. I mean, at first it seemed like a great idea. I didn't really think I knew what was entailed. <laughs> I always like doing a bit of a challenge, so in that sense I was immediately attracted to doing it, so it was a bit daunting. 22-year-old Dan was enthused by his dad's idea from the start, but he had a much bigger challenge ahead of him than some of the others. When it was first suggested to me I could barely swim three lengths, but I've had to do a lot of work to obviously build myself up so I can now actually swim for about ten minutes at a time. And Dan's baby brother Craig found he had an even bigger hurdle to overcome. Training was going well, then unfortunately I had a hernia and um, I had to stop for a few weeks. I wouldn't say my body's excellent, but um, I've coped. So far, the family have managed to raise nearly £4,000 for their chosen charities, which will make their adventure all the more worthwhile. Well, we chose the um, charities because they're all kind of linked to the family. Uh, we've got the motor neurone disease. Uh, we've got a relative who's suffering from that. Uh, the Exeter Leukaemia Fund, again, family-related, but they're local as well. Um, and Rays of Sunshine, which is uh, <clears throat> the Last Wish kind of children's charity. You just kind of think, well, getting cold for an hour and a bit is not really that bad at the end of the day, so we're just going to plough on and get on with it, really. During the crossing, the boys will encounter cold, loneliness, aches and pains, and these are risks they aren't taking on lightly. The things that we're kind of most, well, I'm most worried about would, would be the cold, I'd say. Initially, that was the biggest kind of culture shock. Um, the other thing, of course, is that there's a lot of sharks. Not overconfident, but we're confident in our own abilities and we're confident as a group. So, you know, with a bit of luck, we'll get to the other side. I don't fancy swimming along and kind of kicking a jellyfish. Our main problem is going to be the cold. A lot of people have obviously said, what are you doing, you crazy fool, why not get a boat? There's not a, another bunch of guys I'd like to do it with, really. Nervous anticipation is the, the way to describe it, yeah. At the moment, now we're about to set off, there's obviously butterflies, but we're just looking forward to kind of swapping the White Cliffs of beer for lovely White Cliffs of Dover and just getting on with it, really. 24 hours to go, I'm starting to wonder if it was such a good idea. So wish us luck this morning. Wow. And at the moment, Cam, over the weekend, yeah. they dipped their toes in the water. They did more than dip their toes in the water. Dad, Paul, you have lived to tell the tale. How did you do? We did fantastically. Yeah, we much better than we anticipated. We aimed for a time of about 16-ish hours, and we got there 14 hours, 18 minutes. And as I understand it, we are awaiting confirmation from the Guinness Book of Records to find out if you are the first family, what is first? British family, to, British do, a, family. to do what they call a standard relay. Standard yeah. relay. Which is a six-man team. Mm -hmm. So what's the, how does the relay bit work? Um, you, you, everybody does an hour. You have yeah. to say you have to set, um, set out your stall, you, the, the sequence you're going to do it in, and you have to stick by that. You're not allowed to touch the boat, touch anybody else during your hour. The person jumping in behind you jumps in behind, yeah. overtakes you, then that person can come out. And you ha if you don't stick by that rule, you don't get the certificate. Which you did stick by the rules. And here's, here you are setting, setting off. Um, so, so we have a look at this. This is the early hours of... <laughs> Saturday morning. Saturday, Saturday morning. morning, yeah. Saturday oh. morning. Now, you're in there somewhere. Um, <laughs> what, what, did, what did you have? Was there any goose fat smeared around you? Or what way did, what way did they do that, a lot, David? A lot of Vaseline. Just, just a lot of Vaseline. For, yeah. for yes. chafing as well. Just yeah, yeah. where you rub. 
because of the salt water. Had you swum in the dark before? No, I haven't. No, no. no that no. must have been very different. It was eerie, yeah. To be yeah. honest, it was only him that had to do it, so the rest of us. Well, and quite right. right, he should. <laughs> yeah. Because it was just his idea, idea. Yeah. But idea. Daddy Paul here, this was all your idea of after a drunken night in a bar with your sons and brothers. And some of them. You yeah. came up with this madcap idea. Well, it's always been an ambition of mine, but I'm realistic enough to realise there's no way I could do it on my own. Mm -hmm. I mean, absolute hats off to the people who did it. When we were yeah, out there, there's some solo swimmers out there yeah. doing. It and how they could do that on their own, yeah. absolute phenomenal yeah, athletes. But I should say to you, Paul, I've crossed the channel as well. And <laughs> <laughs> what, what, did I, what did I say that was funny then? I, I missed that, sorry. I've crossed the channel, and indeed, also this weekend on that train thing yeah. that uh, <laughs> both, both wears. But, uh, but Neil, you said in that film there, you said. Well, look, there's only an hour and a half in the water. You know, it's not a bad price to pay for doing her bit for charity. That's Craig, um, I think, that said that, wasn't it? Was it you? Oh, oh no, it, it was Craig, sorry. Craig, yeah. So many brothers, so many names. <laughs> so many sorry, Craig, yeah. Even yeah, yeah was, um, did it was. You, do you revise that opinion, having done it? Definitely, yeah, definitely. It was, uh, it was tough, but like I said, with all the support that we had, I mean, our manager, Chris, he really, really helped us along. Now, I know a lot of people say they get actually physically sick when yeah. on Channel Swims. Who was ill? Not naming yeah. names. These guys. Oh, These two unfortunates here. <laughs> Didn't uh, it was fine in, uh, until I got out of the water and with about a minute. That was it. I uh, just, you know. Why, yeah. what, what brought that about? It was, I think it was a combination of the stuff I'd eaten before and the seawater. I swallowed some seawater. Mm. And luckily, I'm uh, you know, very pleased it didn't happen during the swim. But, uh, it's it's, it's so not a good thing. That is Neil there. It is yes, Neil. Neil. Yeah. Um, it, it's not a good thing to um, die in a belly thing. full of seawater. No, water. no, no, no. Not at all. You can't. You can't. After that, you just can't eat. You've got no energy. And you know, in five hours, you've got to get, get back, back in, in and again. do another hour. Yeah. And then after yeah. that, you've got to do another hour. So, so yeah. you've got to get your head in the right place. Yeah, exactly. um, who did the final leg? Uh, the yeah, honour went to this young fellow. That's and that's Lee. Yeah. So how did, how, what was that feeling of oh. knowing that you'd done it? And then yeah, it was just it was amazing. We, we could see France, um, uh, a couple We've of people here, before me. Um, it was Dad and Neil. Um, and then, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me that's, getting that's to the, the end. Moment, yeah. Now, can just anybody swim the channel? I mean, if anybody decides, anybody watching there say, you know, we fancy getting the family together and swimming this, do you have to apply for permits or yeah. what sort of house? I mean, that's a big, busy shipping lane, yeah. that is. Yeah, there's, there's yeah. A, lot of a lot of ships that go past, a lot of big boats. Um, we've, we've been training for six months or more for this. It's, yeah. And someone has to grant you permission, presumably, to do yeah. it. You, ha you have to be uh, accompanied by, uh, you know, by somebody from the pilot, this the fishing, uh, yeah. Channel Swimming and Pilot <clears throat> Federation, basically. Uh -huh. And they uh, stick by their rules, and you get a pilot who steers you across. They know the way. Lovely. We were very lucky, actually. We had a pilot called Ali Streeter, who's um, absolutely brilliant. Channel Queen. Channel yeah. Queen. Yeah. 43 yeah. times. 43, yeah. times. Yeah. 43 times she's yeah. crossed yeah. that. Amazing, oh, we're in good amazing hands. lady. Well, How much you... money did you think you've raised? Well, yeah. at the moment, we're hoping that we're possibly. It's a bit. It's a bit vague because we haven't been in touch. We've been concentrating on the swim, but yeah. we're hoping yeah. sort of 12,000 ish. We're aiming Fantastic. for about 20, so... Well, you know, it's great we're, to we're see you. Go Two generations of Fitzhenry's. We've got Daddy Fitzhenry and Baby Fitzhenry's behind us here, and then <laughs> Brother it. Fitzhenry's on the front. Uh, of the, how many Bloomin' Fitzhenry's oh, are there? Oh, endless. Are there? <laughs> 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 endless amounts of them. So that's a minute <laughs> aspect of the Fitzhenry clan. Thank you very much. Well done. Very well done. Very well done. Very well done. Well, if you want to um, enter a competition, you could get maybe £5,000, and you could buy a boat and you wouldn't have to swim the channel. <laughs> uh, here's the competition.